Hey, second new one, Math Prodigy. This is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of Math Mastery. So, how was your question yesterday? It was pretty, pretty confusing, but it's actually pretty easy. Hmm. So, let's take a look at the question again. The question was a two meter long wire. Oh, by the way, the answer. The answer for this is 197 minus 2x divided by 3. If you got it right, high five. Oh, that's not a strong high five. High five! You're a math prodigy. Good job. Okay? If we didn't, let's figure out how to solve this puzzle. It's a pretty it's a pretty cute puzzle, I would say. Gets you a little confused over time, okay? But first, let's see this. A two meter long wire is cut into five. Okay? Three of the shorter pieces have length in CM, which are consecutive. Very important word in this question is consecutive. While the two longer pieces are each XCM. Find the length of the piece. Okay. First of all, you want to find out what is the leftover which forms the three, um, the three pieces of wire? So all you have to do is two meters, change it to cm becomes two hundred cm, correct? Minus how much? Each are x cm, right? So times two, two longer pieces, minus two x. Okay, so this is the length of the um, three pieces, correct? So now you almost got it already. Okay, the next step is to understand that the three consecutive pieces are actually in the form of, let's just make it n. So n if the first one is n, the consecutive number would be n plus what? n plus 1. For example, if one was if n was 1, the next number would be 2, right? So 1 plus 1, 2. And then n plus another 1 plus another 1, which is plus 2. So for example, let's try this out. Check this. If n equals to 1. 1, 2, 3. Good job. So that means it's consecutive numbers. So this is actually the same as this. This equals to this. Okay? So how you would write it is 200 minus 2x equals to 1n, 2n, 3n. Okay, 2 plus 1 equals to 3. And from there, all you have to do is manipulate the, the equation. Okay. So let's close this. Okay. And all you have to do is manipulate the equation. So all you have to do is you need to find out what is n because n was the shortest piece. That's what they're asking for, right? So um, bring this over to the right, to the left side, so you get yourself um, 3n plus 3 equals to 200 minus 2x, correct? And just manipulate this equation. So after you manipulate it, you will get 3n equals to plus 3 becomes minus 3 on this side, so it becomes 197 minus 2x. And n equals to 197 minus 2x over 3. So that's the solution. It's pretty easy actually. Have to do a bit of thinking though. Alright, so in this type of questions, the most important part is you must, 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 you must let n be the first, this is the, the first number. And then you must let the next number be n plus 1, n plus 2, blah, 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 blah. And then you get this and you get the answer and you get your marks. Alright, so if you want your right again, High five, you are a math prodigy. Good job. Okay? Now, let's move on to the next question. The next question for the day is very simple. I want you to just do this. Simplify this equation. 3 bracket 4 plus 2x squared minus x bracket close bracket minus 6 3x squared plus x plus 2 over 2 2x minus 3 plus 3x plus 2. Okay, that's a whole mouthful. Find its value when x equals 2 minus 2. So A and B. Simplify the equation and then find its value when x equals minus 2. I, don't, I know that this should be quite easy. I don't want you to do any, any careless mistakes. All I want you to do is to make sure that everything is slowly but surely simplified to a simple equation. Got it? So good job if you got the first one right. And we're going to move on to the second question. If you've got any questions at all, please. If you've got any questions at all, please, 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 please. You are free to send me a message on Facebook. Um, and I will answer you promptly. Okay? And just remember, it's all about practice. The quote of the week is, victory loves preparation. One of the things that I want to tell you is, if you can't get it right the first time, do it three times over, understand it, and once you understand it, it's set for life in your brain. Got it? So victory loves preparation. With that, I'm signing out. You are a math priority. Good job.